Welcome back guys to 519. Today we got another unboxing video and today's car is actually a really fun little car. Uh, this is the Devil L Toys 14401. Uh, I had the 959 which was another Devil L Toys buggy which was a pretty fun car. It was small, it was fast and I feel like this is the big brother. It looks like they worked a little harder on this one. Uh, it looks nice. So let's open the box and just see what's inside it. looking at the car that looks nice so you got your your battery which I took it out of the car and then you got your charger little toolkit and then you got your manual Dang, this thing looks so good man I'm really digging those wheels the tires oh man shocks feel pretty good oh, look at that big wing man this car just overall looks so good aluminum chassis oh my goodness all right let's take the cover off man so i believe it has a 540 motor uh, i believe the runtime is only seven minutes so it kind of sucks but we'll see how long it runs today you got your aluminum shock tower front back man this car just looks good All right, so let's plug in the battery and see how it runs. All right. All right, so let's see how fast this thing is. It's pretty quick. So yeah, this thing is four wheel drive. Let's take it to the skate park. Gotta say, this car feels really good. Like, it actually drives straight when you, you go on top speed, it drives straight. Look what we got. The tires. Oh, I think oh, this thing just popped off. So let's pop it back in. Good like new. You guys can see after hitting that jump and falling upside down, I broke my wing. Which it's not too bad. Cool thing about the in the manual, they have all the parts numbers, so you could go back and reorder one if you need it. But looks pretty cool, so let's keep bashing it. Let's see if we could 
clear the, the table right here. Oh, <laughs> and the battery came out. All right, let's see if we could land this. Nice. battery fill out again. So we just finished bashing. Let's see how it held up. So first thing you notice, the tower, the shock tower is really bent up. And then obviously the wing broke off, which isn't too bad. The back, the rear shock tower is a little bent too right here. Other than that, I mean, the wheels are good. Everything's good. The bottom's a little scratched up, but that's fine. Overall, this car hold up pretty good. No one really broke in any parts besides the shock tower right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.